Good morning. Hey, it's day 113 on the trail. It's 6.10 in the morning. I just left the Port Clinton Hotel. Had a nice day there. Small bed, twin bed, small room. Uh, maybe a little pricey for what you get, but it, it, it was worth it. Uh, to get a nice bed and uh, and the food in the bar underneath is fantastic and the candy shop next door makes you feel like a little kid again so I'm heading out I'm not quite on the trail yet I'm walking through town and uh, I have to re-walk a little bit that I did yesterday uh, so uh, and then I'll head up we have a threat of thunder showers today joy hopefully i can get to the sh well the first shelter's in like six miles and the next shelter's in nine miles so hopefully i'll be close enough to uh take refuge seeing some wildlife here in the morning <laughs> and heading downtown and into the woods i gotta go straight down this road and pick up the trail okay one of those bushes back there is a plant called Japanese knotweed. It's an invasive species. You can see someone cut it down doing trail maintenance. Uh, it's an invasive species that's really taken over a lot of the waterways around the Delaware River, up into the, the Catskills in New York, lining the, the rivers and the islands that are in the stream. It's really <coughs> a problem. Uh, I don't know if anything's trying to be done. Of course, you can't spray Roundup near streams because it's very toxic to fish. So I don't know what they're trying to do. Probably biological methods, but I don't know if they've come up with anything. Okay. I just finished my morning climb, which is going to be the toughest one of the day, of about a thousand feet. Uh, it is humid today, but it is a little on the cool side, so it's not too bad. Uh, wasn't too bad of a climb. Just a steady, hard pull with a, one flat spot in the middle. So, you know, you got a little flat, a down, a couple hundred feet back up, and then relatively flat for till the shelter. So that's good. Uh, I think I think that's about it. Rocks haven't been bad. Of course, I just jinxed myself. I'm sure. Just up at the top of the climb, it got a little bouldery. So. All right, I'm gonna head on. This is spring in about a mile, so I'm gonna camel up and get some water, and we'll go from there. It's gonna be a sparse water day, so and the sun is out, so if it heats up, it's gonna be a little bit on the miserable side. Okay, been seeing a few chestnuts, remember? Long, narrow leaves, teeth that curve toward the tip. All right, that's a good example one right here. The teeth that curve towards the tips, okay? Brownish bark, all right? The thing with this one is that top part is dead, and you could see 
where the fungus has split the bark and attacked. But there's another stump, another trunk going up there. And that's a good 20 feet high. But that does have a lot of dead side branches. I don't know if that's fungal related or shade related. But oh, I'm seeing a crack right there. See that? There's another one right there. Oh, that's doomed. What a shame. All right, I've been on this long trail. It was a bit of an up, but what's going to happen is it's going to it's going to make a hairpin turn, go up on a hill, get to the end of the hill, go back down, and then over to the shell the next shelter. It's kind of a long waste of miles, but it could be because the private property had to go around it and stuff like that. So. All right, heading up, heading north. How's this for trail? Ugh. Coming up to Pulpit Rock. The guide says something about an astronomical park. So I'll have to check it out. It looks like the storm is really getting ready to be here. And I'm caught between shelters. Bummer. Okay, uh, we have some observatories here. Who knew? Right, the big meteorological info too. Wow. Lehigh Valley Amateur Astronomical Society. I have a friend who would be so into this. Okay. This is Pulpit Rock. Right here by the observatories. There's the view. All right, everybody, trail eased up a little bit, but I gotta admit, I'm in a race to beat the storm. The wind has picked up, the temperature's dropped, it's gotten darker. So I'm gonna try to bang miles today and videos might have to suffer because of it. I am not putting it, my phone away until it rains, but I am going to concentrate on getting this last seven miles done. It's 1040, so I want to bang it out. Two o'clock is usually thunderstorm time, but it may come sooner, so I'm going to focus on getting miles. Okay, here's, here's the view from the pinnacle. Nothing in the distance because of the Moisture in the air. Uh, beautiful. Seeing the farms. And then over here, a forest. Oop, turkey vulture. Hmm. Trail looks pretty good. I guess that's because everybody throws the rocks up there. <coughs> anyway, heading back. Had a little snack to eat, a little lunch, actually. 
I'm heading back to the trail. And again, gonna try to book miles, so don't be alarmed. Today is a short video. There you go. He's got to be a good five, six feet. Beautiful. Look at how glossy he is. He's looking for something. Look at what we got. Beautiful five, six foot black racer. Look at that. Doing what snakes do. Beautiful. Well, I got to the Eckville shelter just in time. I mean, it's been, it was raining for the last uh, two, two and a half miles, two and a half miles. But it was a light rain. So I've been in here for like 10 minutes and now it's pouring. So I got here just in time. This is the Eckville shelter. It's essentially a shed that they made bunks in. But you know something? It's got a roof. It is what it is. I imagine there'll be other people coming. Oh, uh, yeah. Privy. And that right there. That's the caretaker's house. All right. Let me set up my bunk. 